our second day in Spain, we woke early to blisteringly hot sunshine beating down on us. We dusted off our shorts and sunglasses and set off towards our first destination in southern Spain. On our way, we finally found somewhere to fill up our water tanks, which have been empty for quite a few days. Two meters down, 38 to go. As we approached the hot springs, on the final kilometre, the road disappeared and turned into a bike track. Luckily, we found a dirt track turning and followed it down to the most amazing park up in the middle of an abandoned olive grove surrounded by wild mountain herbs. The next morning we set off early to explore the hot springs at Font Calda. So behind me is Font Calder Hot Spring. We drove down an eight kilometer mountain pass to get here. It's 28 degrees and it's only just this little shallow bath behind us. As beautiful as this area of Spain was, these pools weren't quite what we had imagined. So we headed off to a second hot spring location a little further south. We arrived at Fuente de Baños just before dusk and were able to check them out while nobody else was around. It was a beautiful location, but at just 25 degrees, I wouldn't really consider them a hot spring. Having said that, after such a warm day, we were tempted to just dive in anyway. The best part about Fuente de Baños? The family of stray cats that came to join us at our van. Or maybe they could just smell our dinner. And you like the van? Mm. 
So we just went to check out the Montanejos hot springs. Uh, they were really pretty, really nice area. Not the warmest, but unfortunately there's nowhere to stay around there. It's all no camping signs and barriers. So we just had a bit of dinner in one of the car parks, but we didn't really fancy staying there because it was a bit too close to the road. So we're gonna head south, go on a little adventure and see if we can find somewhere else to stay. The next day, we set off again, continuing our journey south. And you feel real Come on Morning everyone, it's a lovely sunny day here in Spain and today we're going to visit Guadalest. This is a place that I came to about four years ago when I came on holiday to Spain, the whole standard coach tour, beach holiday in the south kind of thing. So I'm really excited to go and visit it again because I went to see the Castel de Guadalest but I never got to go and see the lake down below so we're going to go and check that out today and I'm really excited. Yesterday we had a bit of trouble with Ben's camera because it got a little bit wet when we were trying to sort out our plumbing. So we had to leave it in rice overnight and uh, luckily it's working again today. But yesterday we had to shoot everything on my camera so sorry for the lower quality footage. It was amazing to be able to rediscover this beautiful area of Spain, revisiting old places and discovering new ones along the way.